really good imaging is a combination of a whole bunch of things, the entire system. Good power, good cables, good electronics, good speakers, good room, good, you know. But that's just too general of an answer to really be of any value to anyone. I think the worst imaging that I see on a continual basis is caused by poor speaker setup. And this can be because of circumstances or a lack of knowledge. And I think that the uh, probably the single best or, or the single biggest reason that people don't get good imaging is they have their speakers too close to the front wall. And, and by front wall, I mean the wall that you are looking at that is behind the loudspeakers. It's really convenient in your living room or your home to shove the speakers up against the wall or away from it just a little bit uh, in order to get it. But when you do that, you don't give the system any room to breathe. And systems depend on that. Harry Pearson published his famous rule of thirds, where the speaker should be one third the way from the front wall, and you, the listener, should be a third away from the back wall. Some of the best imaging speakers I've ever heard are in big rooms. When you go to Arnie Nudell's house, the founder of Infinity, and the man that is designing our upcoming line of loudspeakers. Yeah, go Arnie. Um, his room is very tall open ceilings. The speakers are pulled out from the rear wall. And he has a sound stage that images in a way that Few I have ever heard in the 40 years that I've done this uh, can even compare with. I mean, it's, it is spectacular. It's just, it, it, there's, it, when the Boston Symphony Orchestra or the San Francisco Symphony Orchestra and those great Mahler recordings starts playing, I mean, you close your eyes and you literally can hear the entire orchestra in a perfect soundstage and you can't get that if you don't have some room for the loudspeakers to breathe. And, and that's the way that I, I kind of look at this. So how do you tell if they're far enough out in the room, or too far out in the room? One way to do that is to think about an analogy that I have used often with people. And, and please, for those of you that are literalists, don't take this too literally. <laughs> because I'm trying to make a picture to help people understand what I'm talking about. That said, imagine that you have a small group, a trio, uh, a singer, a bass player, and a, I don't know, ukulele. So you got three people that are in your room, and you're going to set them up and, you know, take them out from the front wall a little bit, and there they're going to stand and play, Right? And now you want to record those people. So what do you do? Okay, so you know if, if you if you look at this, uh, you're 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 sitting here, and the the musicians are here, and you're here, and then the the back of the wall is over here, right? So you're going to place two microphones pointing at the musicians, between you and the musicians, right? Can you picture that? So it's you, the microphones, and the musicians. And the microphones are pointed at the musicians. Now, they start to play, and they sing, and they do whatever, and you're capturing this sound on the microphones. Now, it's time to send them home, and now you want to play it back. So imagine now that those two microphones magically turn into loudspeakers. So they flip around, and instead of two microphones pointing at musicians, now there are two loudspeakers pointing at you. What would you expect to hear? Would you expect the sound to come now from the front of the loudspeakers? I would hope not, because that's not where it occurred. When those microphones are pointing at those musicians, and you play it back as speakers, the musicians should appear about the same size and height and the same place that you recorded them, which is why I have always said, A, give speakers enough 
breathing room behind them to form an image. And two, the image should always come from behind the loudspeakers, never in front, if that makes sense. So there are some tips on creating a good image. Once you have the speakers pulled away as much as you're allowed to or you're capable of, and you get a pretty good image, now you have to focus on the other things that are really important. Electronics. I can, if you take a BHK preamp and you put that in the system relative to, oh, you know, I don't know, pick something, a $100 preamp from some other manufacturer, the sound stage for, on the lower cost uh, preamplifier is very likely to collapse and become, yeah, it's there, but it's not expansive. It doesn't have what a BHK would have. And I, I'm not just trying to sell you a BHK. I'm just using that as an example where great electronics enhance the sound stage. But if you don't have the speakers set right in the first place, then it doesn't matter what the electronics are. Hope that helps. Great question, and thank you for asking. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.